Hey y'all, this is Adam Wiseman, and I'm going to show you Google's updated version of Course Kit. Now it's called Assignments. So I'm going to show you how that works within Canvas uh, if your institution or district uses Canvas. So in Canvas, uh, you will access your course. And before you do this, whoever your district admin or your district's technology director or person that oversees technology uh, will need to enable this in your LMS and reach out to Google to get the instructions on how to do so. So in your course, uh, you're going to open up assignments and you have to do this with each assignment that you do. So I'm going to create a new assignment. So in my assignment, I'm going to edit. And then if I want this assignment to be submitted within the Google assignment integration, then I'm going to go down to submission type and I'm going to click external tool. I'm going to click find and then I'm going to find Google course kit assignment tool. This may be renamed in the future. Uh, in my specific LMS and district, it is still named Google Course Kit. Um, so I'm going to click Google Course Kit Assignment Tool and click Select. You can type your assignment details and add whatever you need to in order for the students to know what to do. So I'm going to save this and publish. Now, as an instructor, when you load this assignment after you save it, it's going to make you link your account with uh, Google. So I'm going to go ahead and link my account with this, my course, uh, and I'm going to click link. Now students will have to do the same thing when they first open up an assignment that has been uh, set up to be run through Google Assignments. So uh, that's all that there is um, with setting up an assignment to work with Google Assignments in your LMS. Now on the student side, when they turn in work, uh, this is showing you an example of what it looks like when a student turns in work. So when I click on Open Course Kit, it shows me who submitted. And so I'm going to click on their work. So it does look like if you are familiar with Google Classroom, it does kind of look like that interface when you are grading and looking at students work. Okay, so you can add a rubric to this. And also this works with the new originality. Um, so if it's a Google Doc, you can have it run through the Google originality checker so that you can check for any plagiarism. So um, that's what it looks like on the instructor side um, with the new Google Assignments LMS. Uh, something else that's really important is when you're first setting up the assignment, make sure you put how many points it's worth. Um, my district does have a power school uh, grade pass back so this way it will post the grade to our student information system which we use power school so that is working with canvas so this does post your grades to your student information system if that has the integration with uh, your district or your institution. So the student view of assignments looks similar to the instructor. Um, so this shows that we've already submitted this, but you can click open an assignment and this is what it looks like for students. So it, once again, this kind of looks like a version of Google Classroom. Uh, students can choose the file 
uh, from their drive that they want to submit. They can also unsubmit their assignment and work on it again and submit it again. So really simple interface uh, using the Google Assignment LMS integration. Uh, one more uh, part of this is the embed tool within Google Drive of LMS. So I'm going to go back to assignments. I'm going to create a new assignment. Once your institution or district enables this integration, if you click on the little drop down arrow or the V in the assignment editor, you're going to see Google Drive. Now this one has a G Suite. Um, that really doesn't work as well, that specific integration. So Google has come out with a better one that kind of makes it easier for you to uh, pull in things. So I'm going to choose Google Drive, not G Suite. And it's going to make me sign in to my assignment integration. And now I can choose what Google Drive file I want to embed. So it directly embeds that Google Drive file into your assignment window. Uh, it also shares it with the individual student. Uh, one thing this doesn't do yet is do make a copy. So hopefully in the future uh, that will be an uh, added feature that you can make copies automatically for students. In the meantime, you will use the mission. So you would choose Google Docs Cloud Assignment if you want to make a copy of a template for your students. So that is Google Assignments, formerly Google Course Kit. And I'm Adam Wiseman. Uh, so you can reach out to me on Twitter at a wise man NC. And if you have any questions about this, so I uh, look forward to uh, hearing from you all.